Congratulations and welcome to your graduation ceremony. You may not realize it, but as well as the shiny new qualification you're about to receive, you're also now part of the VU alumni family. But what is that exactly? I'm glad you asked. It's been a global community since 1916, a network of over 240,000 across 130 countries and still growing. As VU alumni, you'll stay connected and we'll keep you in the loop. Whether it's career support, industry and research connections, personal and professional development and mentoring programs, or exclusive alumni events. And into the future, as your own career grows, you can support other proud graduates by speaking at events, classes and graduations, becoming a mentor, shaping courses offered to future students at VU, placing students for industry experience, or supporting the scholarships fund. So no matter where you end up, you're part of the VU alumni family. So stay in touch. If your contact info changes, let us know. Keep active on LinkedIn. Join our Facebook page and show your VU pride with hashtag VU alumni. Welcome to the VU alumni family. Success happens together. To the community psychology graduates, congratulations. You've done a tremendous job and I wish you all the very best. Congratulations from Student Life. Hello, it's Carolina, Placement Coordinator for Community Psychology and Counselling. Congratulations graduates of Community Psychology for the Master of Applied Psychology, Master of Counselling and the Graduate Diploma of Counselling. Well done on finishing, doing a really tough year uh, and I was glad to be able to support you. Community Psychology grads, start your endorsement now. Cheers. Congratulations, Osteos of 2020. Well done. In such a crazy year, you've made it here. Well done, guys. Good luck. Congratulations, VU graduates. You made it. Great work. Congratulations, graduates. Cheers. And after such a challenging year, you really do deserve the best to hit. So well done. Congratulations on your achievements. We wish you all the very best in your future careers. Congratulations to the 2020 VU graduating cohort from VU Engagement and Advancement. Good luck with your next career stage. Opportunities don't just come along any day. You have to go out and chase your dreams. Congratulations. To all the counselling graduates, congratulations on all your hard work and all the best for the future. Great work on getting through 2020 and a big congratulations for graduating. On behalf of Alumni Relations, congratulations on your graduation. Welcome to the VU Alumni Community. Hello and welcome to Victoria University's At Home Graduation Celebration. We are here today to celebrate the achievements of our most recent graduates and it is important to our university that we continue to recognise and celebrate your success with you, despite the challenges of distance during this unprecedented time of the COVID-19 pandemic, and mark this exceptional milestone for you, our students, in the safest way possible. My name is Naomi Dempsey, and I am the Deputy Provost Academic and Students at Victoria University, and I am also your MC today. On behalf of my fellow Victoria University staff, Chancellor, University Council, Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, senior officers, and academic and professional staff, I extend a warm welcome and congratulate all graduates on their achievements today. It is with great pride that we celebrate the success of our students with their families and friends in their homes today. So, I would also like to warmly welcome your family and friends who are with us for today's celebration. I acknowledge that today we are joining you from the lands of the Boon and Woiwurrung of the Kulin, who are the traditional owners of university land. I would like to acknowledge their ancestors, elders and families. 
as we share our own knowledge practices within the university, may we pay respect to the deep knowledge embedded within the Aboriginal community and their ownership of country. We acknowledge that the land on which we meet is a place of age-old ceremonies of celebration, initiation and renewal, and that the Kulin people's living culture has a unique role in the life of this region. As we gather for this virtual celebration today, I would also like to acknowledge Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people who may be with us. I ask that everyone here today reflects on the meaning of place in your places today to recognise and respect the many traditional lands on which today's graduation event is being held. Before we commence today's proceedings, I would like to invite Ms Janet Galpin of the Bunrung Foundation to deliver the welcome to country and Mr Sean Ryan from Kuku Yalanji Nation of Cape York. Wamanjika, come with purpose to our beautiful home, Land of the Two Bays. My name is Janet Galpin and I am cousin to the Bunwarung people of the Kulin Nations. I am here today representing Parbanata, Dr Carolyn Briggs AM, the elder of the Bunwarung and Yalakut Wheelam clan. We are here today meeting in Melbourne on the lands of the Bunwarung and I would like to pay my respect today to my ancestors, those people who came before us. And to all of you here today for the Victoria University graduations. As a family member of the Bunwarung, Melbourne's first people, I am pleased to be able to welcome you here today. We are especially pleased to recognise the commitment that you've made here today in paying respect to the spirit of this land and to its first peoples. Through this, you have shown the willingness to honour sacred ground. Today we stand on Bunwarang country. This country is unceded land. The Bunwarang are custodians of the land that stretches from Wilson's Promontory all the way to the mouth of the Werribee River, encompassing both of our beautiful bays, Western Port and Port Phillip. So when you are walking or travelling around our country, you have been welcomed by us for all of your journeys and to keep you safe. It is important for all Australians and fellow country and international people to understand and appreciate the history and the culture of the First Peoples of Melbourne, who've played a very significant role in the development of Melbourne, both before and after European arrival. And unfortunately, our First Peoples are unknown to many who live in this land. The struggle to preserve not only their culture and their cultural heritage, but also traditions, began with the ancestors in the 1830s. One of the lessons that we should take from this struggle was the way the elders and leaders of the day forged alliances that led to many of the achievements that we take for granted today. And our elders are still today, 186 years later, in continual discussion with the leaders of today to advance recognition and reconciliation for our first peoples. As people of the continent, now known as Australia, while we may have all descended from different clans and language groups and from countries across the world, we should all support our elders' rights for a voice to government, our rights for a treaty and the truth telling about Australia's dark history. The word welcome in Bunmurang is Womanjika, as I said earlier, and translates to come with purpose. It is also a contract between the people as the custodians of this land and yourselves to ensure that the laws of Bunjil, our creator, are adhered to and to guarantee safe passage for those who ask. According to tradition, this land has always been protected by our creator Bunjil, who travels as an eagle, and by one who protects our waterways and travels as a crow. Bunjil taught us the responsibility that we have for this land and to always welcome guests. But we have to ask all guests to commit to two promises that we ask of you today. One, not to harm the land of Bunjil, and two, not to harm the children of this beautiful land. 
If we can commit ourselves to these two promises, we live in a better world. This commitment was made through the exchange of a small bow being dipped in the water and the spoken words, Wominjika. Thank you, Janet and Sean. I would now like to invite Vice-Chancellor, Professor Peter Dawkins AO, to present the award of Companion of the University. Thank you, Naomi. Graduands, welcome to your graduation day. I congratulate you and warmly welcome you into our VU family as you join the VU alumni, which has over 250,000 graduates around the world. 2020 will be a year to remember for all of us. We've been facing the challenges and impacts of COVID-19 and Victoria University has worked to minimise the disruption to your study throughout the year. I would like to thank you for your patience and understanding through the transformation of our delivery model to digitally supported remote learning and also to commend you on your resilience, adaptability and commitment to success during this time. Not even a global pandemic could get in the way of your achievement. And it certainly was not going to get in the way of us celebrating this with you. Victoria University is proud to honour Kelly Grigsby for her exceptional service to the community and for her contribution to Victoria University with the award of Companion of the University. Kelly has been the Chief Executive Officer of Wyndham Council since 2015. She has developed and implemented a modern progressive organisational structure designed to ensure integration of the organisation's priorities with an ultimate focus on delivering the community's priorities contained in the Wyndham 2040 plan. Kelly is also a board member of the West of Melbourne Economic Development Alliance, which is hosted by Victoria University. Kelly has been supportive to the Vice-Chancellor in our lobbying of federal and state government to support VU initiatives at Werribee and is currently leading negotiations for the City of, Mel of Wyndham of an MOU with VU about an ongoing partnership. To publicly recognise her exceptional service to the community and to Victoria University, I present to you for conferral of the Companion of the University, Kelly Grigsby. Can I thank the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Peter Dawkins AO and Chancellor Ms Gay Hamilton and all assembled staff members of Victoria University. Finally, can I congratulate all of those students graduating today in the College of Engineering and Science. I'm absolutely honoured to accept the Companion of the University Award in recognition of work undertaken to advance Melbourne's western suburbs. I'm honoured to be recognised in this way for my contribution to the West of Melbourne. Melbourne's West is a rapidly changing, incredibly dynamic community with diverse communities growing right across the West. It's core business for me to ensure that across the West we're building communities for residents, not suburbs. We need to ensure we're planning for our communities to a service that equals anywhere in Victoria, Australia or around the world. It's a role I take great pride in holding and I'm energised and passionate each day about achieving for the West. To the students watching today, please take time to reflect on your significant achievement in receiving your qualification today, the attainment of your degree, uh, particularly your, you know, in a year like no other, is recognition of your year's hard work and dedication to build a pathway to your future. From today, you can use all that learning and commence making your contribution to our community. Show no restraint and ensure you reach your full potential. Congratulations and thank you for your time today. Thank you. I would now like to welcome our Chancellor, Ms Gay Hamilton. The Chancellor's role is to chair the University Council and to guide the strategic direction of Victoria University. Thank you. Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, senior officers, staff, 
graduands, graduands, families and friends. I warmly welcome you all to today's graduation ceremony. Today is a day to celebrate. You have taken the opportunity that Victoria University has offered and with hard work and resolve, you have now achieved success. You have demonstrated a capacity to set goals and to achieve them. You've shown persistence and determination. You've learned the art of juggling priorities and many of you have overcome challenges in order to complete your studies. These are not just qualities that have enabled you to gain your well-earned qualification. They are qualities that will assist you as you build your career. This achievement is even more significant this year with the implications of the COVID-19 pandemic and the adjustment you each made to digitally supported remote learning for most of the year. I congratulate each of you for adapting to this style of learning so quickly and remaining committed to your studies so that you could focus on achieving your goals. Getting to today's ceremony is one of many successes you will enjoy in life. Be proud of what you've achieved and know that your parents, families, friends, and all the staff who've been a part of your time with us are equally delighted with what you have achieved. The university is proud of you, not only for your achievement in completing your studies, but for the tenacity and commitment that you have demonstrated throughout the challenges of this year. Celebrating each of you for all of these qualities is what makes today's virtual ceremony additionally important and special. Over the last few years, we have introduced the VU Way, a revolutionary new way to offer quality educational opportunities in block mode through engaged learning, one subject at a time, in small groups instead of large lectures. This model has already been tremendously successful with substantial increases in student attendance rates, student engagement, pass rates and student outcomes. The VU block model is now offered to all undergraduate courses at VU and we've begun the development of our postgraduate block model for an exciting first release commencing in 2021. We are the only university in Australia using this stunningly effective education method and we are delivering it at a larger scale than any university in the world. This December, we mark the special occasion of celebrating our very first VU block model graduates and those students that started their learning journey with us through our first year college. To you, our students, you are the next generation of thinkers who will solve local and worldwide challenges and who will make your mark on the world in so many different ways. As you graduate and leave us to embark on your career, consider how you might use the skills you've acquired to strengthen the communities from which you have come or the new communities you are destined to become part of. Graduands, I am pleased to tell you that the awards for all graduates attending this ceremony and in absentia were conferred on the 9th of December, 2020. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Council of Victoria University, I admit the duly authorised graduates to the appropriate awards and to all the rights and privileges of those awards. Congratulations to each of you. Well done. Thank you, Chancellor. I call upon the Dean, College of Engineering and Science, Professor Farzad Khosrowshahi. Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, senior officers, staff, graduates, graduates, families and friends. 
Today we are graduating students from the College of Engineering and Science. I warmly welcome you to today's ceremony. The College of Engineering and Science brings together engineering, information technology, the built environment and science. The college has a commitment to providing the best job ready graduates for a fast changing world with its staff performing above world class research and strong links with the community and over 300 industry and professional bodies. I would like to congratulate our graduates for successfully completing one of the biggest challenges of your life and for paving the way for a new chapter in your life. We have been through an unprecedented situation facing every part of society, locally, nationally, and globally. But thanks to enlightenment, science, resilience, and harmony, we have managed to contain it and we shall emerge taller and stronger. While our thoughts are with those who have suffered, there is no doubt that tomorrow belongs to us. The education landscape is no exception. Your presence here today is a strong testimony to our success. Thanks to the block model and our agility within one week leading to the start of semester one, we combine all of our resources and wisdom to ensure that you will graduate today. This included a radical review of how we deliver and assess knowledge and how we undertake practical. We brought all of these to your door while paying special attention to your well-being and those of staff. Today, you are what we promised you would become. You are now sophisticated, independent, critical thinkers. You will solve people's problems and drive humanity towards a better life. On behalf of the College of Engineering and Science, I thank you for playing your part in all of these. And we are grateful to your friends and family for supporting you. I thank our staff for not just educating you, but also making you proud by making and maintaining an impressive college ranking globally in Australia and in Victoria. We are widely renowned for producing work-ready graduates, so your chance of employment is greater than most other graduates in Victoria. We all wish you a fantastic and fruitful life and urge you to embrace our membership of growing alumni family. All the best to you all.
I now invite Professor Andrew Smallridge, Dean, First Year College, to introduce our student speaker. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, senior officers, staff, graduands, graduands' families and friends. I would also like to welcome you all to today's graduation ceremony. I would like to start by congratulating all of you on the successful completion of your studies at VU. Many of you started in 2018 when we launched the first year college and the VU block model. And here you are graduating from Victoria University. You are the first of the first, the first students to graduate from this Australian first program. In some cases, you are the first students in the world to graduate from a block program in your field, such as nursing and midwifery, paramedicine, law or social work. A truly memorable achievement. I could tell you about the impact of first year college, about the increased pass rates and grades for first year students, about the increase in retention and how Victoria University is now ranked number one in the state for learner engagement at first year. But really, the best outcome from the first year college and the VU block model is all of you here today. You have shown that you have the knowledge, the understanding and the skills to succeed and excel in your chosen field. The block model has also given you new skills you may not have realised you were learning, time management skills, and the ability to work under pressure as you navigated the tight deadlines in the block. Interpersonal skills, research skills, critical thinking, and the ability to co-create new knowledge and communicate it to your peers. And let us not forget those digital skills we all had to learn quickly in this unprecedented year of COVID. These are the 21st century skills that will complement your discipline knowledge and be so valuable to you wherever the next exciting phase of your life takes you. You are work ready, tech ready and life ready. And that is the VU way. To mark this special occasion, I would like to invite Imogen Hare to speak on behalf of all the graduates. Imogen Hare, who will graduate this year from a Bachelor of Business with a major in Event Management, is in the first group to complete their entire degree in block teaching mode. For Imogen, the block teaching mode was ideal. With Imogen able to focus on one subject at a time, she felt it made it easier for her to stay on track. And the short four week time frame for each subject helped prepare her for her career. While studying her degree, Imogen was an active member of the VU community working as a student mentor for two years in the VU Learning Hub, and at university open days, welcome sessions, and through orientation periods. Giving back and sharing her experience with other students as a mentor was a pleasure for Imogen. She felt the supportive environment encouraged her to be the best version of herself. Imogen's highlight of her time at VU was participating in a study abroad in her second year, where she traveled to the UK and also completing an internship in Vancouver, Canada in 2019. It was here that Imogen made lifelong connections and gained a new perspective on her studies, both academically and in practice. Imogen is passionate about the creative events industry and we look forward to seeing her career flourish. Please welcome Imogen Hare. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, academics, teaching staff, family, friends, and fellow graduates of 2020. My name is Imogen Hare, and it gives me great pleasure to welcome our guests on behalf of the graduating class of 2020 here today. Look at us. All of our hard work, late nights, learning, and motivation have landed us here. We are graduating today as the inaugural cohort to complete their entire degree in the block model. What an achievement this is for all of us. My time at Victoria University has been well lived. Some of the earliest lessons I learned at VU included how to navigate my way around the Footscray Park campus, what times not to ride the elevator at City Flinders, and which cafeterias have the best sandwiches. 
Other thoughts I developed along the way included learning how diverse VU is and how beautiful it is to see and hear different humans with different dreams reaching them with you. My time at Victoria University has been jam-packed full of great memories. I have been a student mentor with VU for two years, where I have met some of the greatest people and been able to help others on their academic journeys too. One of the best opportunities VU provided was the chance to study abroad. I studied at York St John University in the UK for one semester last year. Not only did this experience enlighten me to a new way of learning, but I also met so many like-minded people with whom I still talk to regularly. From this experience abroad, I realised the importance of social integration in these programs. Hence, when I arrived home, I posed an idea of student-led travel programs for incoming exchange students. VU has encouraged me to be my best self and constantly strive towards my dreams. VU provided all the tools I needed to be this person and I'm very proud of who I have become. On behalf of all the graduates, I would like to thank all of your family, friends, and this year especially, your housemates. Like you all at home today, there are many thanks for our graduates. In particular, I would like to thank my parents, Paula and Andy, for the friends I met along the way from VU and my exchange university in the UK. In particular, my friend Olivia, who just so happened to be my partner in every group assignment. Thank you to all the staff and academics who helped to shape my future direction. Finally, I'd like to thank my internet provider for making this virtual year possible. I could not have done it without you all. Class of 2020, this is your moment. The next step you take is the start of your next chapter. Leap into it with joy and excitement. Everyone around you is looking at you with pride. Graduates, take a look around wherever you are. We have done it. Not only did we make it to the end of 2020, but also to the end of our degree. And I am so immensely proud to say I graduated at Victoria University in what may be one of the most complicated years of our lives. Not only did we learn the content from our degrees this year, but we also had to adapt to a new way of life inside. This allowed us to also learn about ourselves and to pick up new hobbies along the way, like roller skating and painting. I hope this time has helped you all to learn about yourselves and provided you with the chance to think about what you want your next chapter to look like. If this year has taught you and me anything, it is that all the power we need to make a change is within ourselves. All the strength you need to succeed is from you. You are the creator of your future and now is the time to generate the future you want. I wish you all the best on your journeys and congratulations to you all. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew and Imogen. I now invite the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Peter Dawkins, AO, to read the charge to our new graduates. Chancellor, can I ask all of the new graduates to stand, please? First of all, can I add my congratulations to you all on your graduation? Now I'm going to read out the charge to the graduates. I charge you as graduates of Victoria University to uphold our commitment to excellence in the way you use your knowledge, skills and capabilities in your chosen occupations and industries and in your further studies. To engagement by the way you use your knowledge, skills and capabilities for the benefit of local and global communities. And access along with equity and respect by the way you connect with people from diverse countries, cultures, socioeconomic and educational backgrounds. Let it be known that you are now a graduate of Victoria University, defined by a commitment to excellence, engagement and access in everything you do. I charge you to make a difference to the world by modelling these values and behaviours and by being courageous in the way you play your part in solving problems in your work and in the broader community. Thank you. Thank you, Vice-Chancellor. I would now like to welcome back our Chancellor, Ms Gay Hamilton, to offer her final congratulations. Thank you, Naomi. Today, over 2,500 of you have graduated. I encourage you to remain connected to the VU community as a member of the Alumni Association, 
to continue to build your personal and professional networks. I have no doubt that you will be wonderful ambassadors for Victoria University. I would like to take this opportunity to say a few words about our outgoing Vice-Chancellor, Professor Peter Dawkins. I'd like to take this opportunity on behalf of the VU Council to say that I could not be more grateful for the strategic and steadfast leadership, compassion and expertise of Professor Peter Dawkins over the last 10 years. And in particular, during this last year, which has been extraordinarily challenging. Professor Dawkins has successfully led the transformation of the university whilst always having the students, the staff and VU community as his highest priority. His greatest legacy is the VU way, a student-centred and student success-led model of engaged learning in block mode. Graduates, enjoy your graduation day and reflect on all that you have accomplished so far and on the many experiences still to come. Take a moment to think about what your time at VU has meant to you. Congratulations and very best wishes for an exciting and successful future. Thank you, Chancellor. I would now like to welcome back our Vice-Chancellor, Professor Peter Dawkins AO, to offer his final congratulations. Thank you, Naomi, and thank you, Chancellor. This has been a very special occasion for me for several reasons. First, it's always wonderful to celebrate the success of all of our graduates and wish them well for their future careers. Graduation ceremonies are our biggest and most important celebrations at the centre of the whole purpose of our university is the success of all of our students from their many and diverse backgrounds. They're wonderful events. I've participated in approaching 100 ceremonies, I think, as Vice-Chancellor, and I never tire of them. Everyone is a grand celebration. There is a lot to celebrate. Second, it was wonderful to confer the award of Companion of the University and to hear the heartwarming words from our new companion. And thank you also to our representative graduate speaker today, Imogen Hare, for your wonderful speech too. And third, yes, this is one of my last graduation ceremonies as Vice-Chancellor after 10 years in this role. I'm very proud of the progress that Victoria University has made over the last decade as a locally, nationally and internationally recognised and highly ranked university. I'm especially proud of the reputation we've achieved as a leading innovator in undergraduate education with the VU way and its block model of teaching, the introduction of which has enhanced the progress and achievement of our students markedly. It's been very pleasing to see our first graduates of the block model at our graduation ceremonies this year. In addition, our reputation has grown for our engagement with industry and the community, especially in our region of the west of Melbourne, but also across Victoria and nationally. And international engagement and reputation has also grown through transnational and international education and also through our increasingly recognised excellence in research. Thank you to all the staff, students and partners of the university who've contributed to the growth of the local, national and international standing of our university. Thank you also to the University Council, led this year by our Chancellors Gay Hamilton and Wayne Kayla Thompson, and before that by George Pappas, for the confidence that you placed in me 10 years ago to be the third Vice-Chancellor and President of Victoria University, and for all the support and advice that you have provided to me over the journey that the University has been on in that 10 years. A special thank you today to Gay Hamilton, our current Chancellor, who is also retiring from her role as Chancellor at the end of this year, but continuing as a Council Member next year, when the University will welcome former Premier Steve Brax as its new Chancellor. Gay has been a very wise member of Council during my time as Vice-Chancellor and a truly great support to me as one of our two Chancellors in this challenging year of COVID-19. 
And thank you very much, Gay, for your kind words today, for your kind words about my, my leadership. Just like our graduates today have the opportunity to thank their parents, partners, relatives and friends for their support, I'd like to thank mine. My father was a teacher and my mother was a nurse, which, and they would have been 97 if they were still alive today. They instilled in me a great sense of the value of education. As teachers and nurses did not attend university in their day, like many of our students, I was the first in my family to attend university. And my parents were very proud of me going to university and progressing to be a professor. My wife, Sue, has been a huge support to me in my career and has sacrificed a lot for me to devote so much time and effort to my work. And our grown up kids, Emily and Mark, who themselves went to university, have been a constant joy. It's been a huge honour and great privilege to be entrusted with this role of Vice Chancellor. And thank you also to all my Deputy Vice Chancellors and management teams, as well as all the staff who worked with me over this period to ensure the success of the university and its students. It's been a great team effort and I've been so honoured and proud to be the team captain. At the end of this week, I'll hand over the captaincy to my successor, Professor Adam Shoemaker, with whom I've already had many positive discussions about our wonderful university. Congratulations to Adam for his appointment and I wish him, all, uh, wish him and all the university community every success in the next chapter of VU's life as it continues to pursue its moral purpose of transforming the lives of its students from all their many and diverse backgrounds and to transform the communities in which we operate, especially the west of Melbourne, in partnership with our students and the broader community. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, Vice-Chancellor. Chancellor, that brings to a close the formal proceedings of this graduation ceremony. I would like to sincerely thank everyone for joining us today. Congratulations again on your graduation and from all of us at VU, we are proud to welcome you as a lifelong member of our VU alumni community. Please stay connected with VU, stay safe and thank you. A very big thank you to all my family and friends for all the support. A massive thank you to all the VQ Uni community. And congratulations guys, we've made it. All the best in your careers. Huge thanks to my incredible husband and amazing family and all the teaching staff at VU, including my fourth year supervisor, Dr. Emma Sullivan. I'd like to thank my family, friends, and my teachers for their support throughout the course of my degree. Thank you, Victoria University. Thank you, my family. A special thanks to my sisters backing me up in this journey. And thank you, friends. And I wish everyone good luck. I want to say thank you to mum, dad, my supervisors, the university, family, friends, and Roman Fighter for making today possible. Thank you. I want to thank my parents back home, my baby brother who is here with me, for always supporting me throughout the journey and believing in me. Congratulations, Michelle. Massive congratulations to you know everyone who's graduated today. Uh, it's a great day. Um, I just want to say you know thanks to all the educators and the wonderful people I met at VU, um, and I can't wait on the next chapter of my life. Bueno, estamos muy orgullosos de ti. Felicitaciones! I would like to thank my parents, my wife Harishni, my lecturers, and my friends for my achievement. Congratulations, sweetheart. I wish you all the best for your future. Firstly, I'd like to thank God for allowing this opportunity, thank my parents for helping me out, and mostly my boys who got me through. Thank you. Hi guys, I would like to congratulate on your achievement. Yes, we did it. I'd like to thank my, my friends, my family, and my teachers for supporting me throughout my whole course. This degree would not have been possible without the love and support of my parents and loved ones. I'm also thankful I had my cat who accompanied me throughout many late night assignments. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Woo. Sarah. 
I would like to thank my kids, my mom, my family for being such a wonderful support team throughout my journey. I love you guys so much. And if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have made it that far. Thank you so much. I love you all. I'd like to thank my friends, family and lecturers, especially Rudy and Shoba for helping me achieve this milestone. Thank you guys so much. I would like to acknowledge the advice and guidance of my supervisors, Principal Supervisor, Professor Saha Jahamiya, and um, Second Supervisor, Associate Professor um, Himan Chushi, and my family and friends, my beloved husband, um, and my two kids, Zara and Zayden, and my parents in law who always supported me through my research. Thank you. I would like to thank my mom, my dad, and my brother and my baby for pushing me to my limits to achieve success. Congratulations Rachel Garth on your graduation. Love mom and dad. Hi, I'm Anshaleen. I would like to thank my husband and my parents for supporting me to achieve this success. And also I would like to thank Victoria University and my, my lecturers. Thank you so much. Congratulations Mia. You can do it Mia. I would really like to thank my family and friends for supporting me through all these years. Um, I really would enough been able to do all this without their support. Hey Nish, I just wanted to say a massive congratulations. Love you. Congratulations baby, I'm so proud of you. I love you so much. This is your day. Hi, my name is Mary. I would like to thank my family for their ongoing support and always encouraging me to do the best I can in my life. Love you guys. I'd like to thank God, my family and my friends and the lecturers at Victoria University. I would like to thank my husband for his support and I also want to thank my five children for the support and encouragement. I love you all. Yay, we've completed it. I just want to take this opportunity to thank God and my family for all the support. Done! Yay! I'm honoured to get my graduate certificate, but I've got to thank the person who helped me, Cosy, who sat in on every session with me. Thanks, buddy. Thank you to my husband, Michael Ashcroft, and his wonderful family for supporting me financially and mentally during this degree. I would like to thank to Allah, to my supervisors, to my family and friends. It's a precious one. I would like to thank all my loved ones, any of the VU staff who helped me out, and myself for getting to this point. I'd like to thank my family, friends, and the VU faculties. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys. So thank you. I'd like to thank my families, my colleagues, and my teachers who guided me all the way along my journey. And I'm truly honored to be able to graduate from such a reputed university and is greatly appreciated for the immense support, motivation and guidance from Victoria University. Hi Ashan, congratulations on your graduation. We're really happy for you. I just want to say thank you to DFAT, to Victoria University, to my friends and colleagues and especially to my family for all the support during my study in Australia. Thank you so much. I am very proud of Sylvia for achieving and completing this uh, university course. She did a, a very good job. I would like to thank my parents and my VU staffs for giving me a splendid two years of my master's journey. Congratulations! Aki. I would like to thank my family, my husband who supported me, my lecturers and my teammates. Thank you so much. I am honored to thank my family, my friends, my lecturers and my colleagues for helping me to get to where I am today. I would like to thank our God, my uh, VU professors and classmates, my family, especially Kizja and Katleya. Thank you guys for attending. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations, mommy. I love you. Congratulations. Happy graduation. Adios. Congrats, Nisha. I'm so proud of you. You did it. Love ya. I would like to thank my family and friends for always being there for me and showing me love and support. I love you guys. I'd really like to thank my friends and my family for being massive supports throughout my journey these last three years. A massive thank you to all the friends and family that supported me throughout this year. Most importantly, our lecturers for the guidance and support. 
Love you all. Much appreciated. Peace out. Congratulations, Mom. You're the best. We're so proud of you. Congrats, Blanche. You've done it. Very proud of you. Congratulations, Jim, on your graduation. I'm really, really proud of you. I'd like to thank my family and my teachers for all their support. Thank you, VU, for a great university experience. I would like to thank some of you guys, the VU sport team, VU lecture, teachers, who always stand by me, giving me lots of inspiration, experience, and big assist during my course, especially uh, during the COVID pandemic time. Thank you very much. Thank you to my supervisors, Mary and Sharon, for your expert guidance. And thank you to my husband, Scott, and my children, Lily and Max, for your support and encouragement. Congratulations, Congratulations Dania, on your graduation. Thank you. Well done. Congrats. Hey, Mom, congratulations for graduating. It's a huge accomplishment. Yay! We're very proud of you. We know it took a long time and you slugged through it, but you got it done. We're very proud of you. Congratulations. Way to send the Thank you so much to my teachers and especially my family for supporting me and helping me achieve my goals and follow my dreams. Just like to thank um, my mum and dad um, for everything they've done for me over the last uh, 24 years. Wouldn't be here without you. Uh, and also, just like a quick thanks to my girlfriend um, for all your love and support in the last five years as well. Yay! Thank you to my beautiful husband and children for all their love and support and for always believing in me. I love you. Hi Dimish, congratulations. Well done. Well done. Congratulations mommy, I love you. Hi. I'm proud of my wife, Angeline. Congratulations. To my husband and my family back in the Philippines, thank you. To the transformational professors of VU and my classmates and groupmates from all over the world, thank you for making this journey very memorable. Hey Nish, I'm so proud of you. I know you're going to do great things. No more retail. Yay! Congratulations, Nisha. So proud of you. Love from everyone. Bye. Congratulations, Ponchi. We are very proud of you. Congratulations, Angel, on your graduation. We love you. I want to give a big thank you to Dr. Chris Bryant, Sidiri Men's Aidan Mutato. This place would be nothing without you. Woo! I would like to thank my husband for his support, and I also want to thank my five children for the support and encouragement. I love you all. I'd like to thank my beautiful girlfriend Stephanie, my mum, my dad, my little sister Chelsea, and my best friend from uni, Nicole. I would love to thank my beautiful family for all the support during my studies. Congratulations, Pia, on your MBA graduation! Go Nisha, go Nisha, go Nisha. <laughs> Congrats. I'd really like to thank my friends and my family for being massive supports throughout my journey these last three years. To my family and my amazing partner, thank you for the coffees, the support, and putting up with my essay writing in the middle of family dinner. I did it! I'd like to thank my friends, my family, and my supportive partner. Thank you to my supervisors, my family, and my friends for helping me out in this incredible journey. Thank you. I'm thankful for my family, friends, and teachers. Their overwhelming support motivated me to reach my full potential. I'd like to thank my mom, dad, and sister for helping me get where I am today. I'd like to thank my parents for their continuous encouragement and guidance. I'd also like to thank the VU faculty for their continuous support over the course of three years. Thanks a lot, guys. Congratulations, Nisha. Love you. Love you. Hi, Dimish. Congratulations. Well done. I would like to thank my family, my dear lecturers, my friends who gave a tremendous support in achieving this milestone, especially my parents. Congratulations, Congratulations Brian. So happy for you, man. I'm thankful to my parents, lecturers, and batchmates for all the support and courage. 
Congratulations to all VU graduates out there. I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'd like to thank my mom and dad, Sosa and Yamu. I'd like to thank my Princess Cheryl. I'd also like to thank my church family, Pastor, HGY, and last of all, I'd like to thank the staff and all the students that were with me throughout these two years. I would like to thank my parents, colleagues, and lecturers who helped me achieve this great milestone in my life. Thank you to my parents, family, friends, Victoria University and SVM for all the support and congratulations to you, class of 2020. I'd like to thank to um, Alejandro Cortez, Andres Castro, Omara Castro, Mihal Sestak, Carolina Smoluski. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Emma! Woo. I would like to thank my dear parents and my dear friends and my dear valuable lecturers for supporting me in this journey. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be a fresh BU graduate of the first Victoria University batch from Sri Lanka and I would like to thank everyone who helped me to achieve my best through flying colors. A huge thank you to my nan and granddad for welcoming me into their home and giving me my wings to fly. My family, my partner's family, my partner, our lecturers and Anthony of course. I would like to thank my loving family members, all my lecturers in NSBM and Victoria University as well as my close friends for all the support. I would like to thank my family for their support and encouragement on this journey. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you. Hi everyone, today my dream came true and I just graduated from Victoria University and I'm so happy and glad that I made it. All the best to all the graduates and we actually made it. I'm so proud, woo! I would love to thank my principal supervisor, Professor Apostopoulopoulos, and my co-supervisors, Dr. Johnson and Professor Vasil Yawik. Happy graduation! Happy graduation! Bye, bye, bye! I would like to thank my parents, teachers and friends for this special occasion. Hello, hi! Good luck to you! I'd like to honor God, my husband, my family, my friends, and the VU community. You know we did this together. Thank you. I would like to express my gratitude to my loving parents and a very big thank you to all the NSBM Grady News and Victoria University lecturers. Thank you. I want to thank God, my parents, and my professors for getting me to where I am today. Congratulations, Mum. Well done. Good effort. I would like to thank God, first of all, and my mom and dad, my family and friends, and everyone else who supported me throughout this journey. Thank you all for your support. I'd like to thank all my NSBM and VU lecturers and special thanks to my parents for helping me in this journey. I would like to thank my mom and dad, my siblings, my godmother and all my cousins, aunties and uncles that have supported me. Hi, I would like to thank my parents, my lecturers, my friends and my girlfriend who always supported me during my studies. I hope you are part of me. Thank you. I'd like to thank my family for their support throughout my studies and my future career. I couldn't have done it without them. I'm really so proud of you. Congratulations on the new achievement and best of luck in the new journey ahead. Thank you to my family and my doctoral supervisors for helping me achieve success. I would like to thank my mom and my closest friends for being there with me. Congratulations on your graduation, Missy. We're so proud of you and your achievements. Love you, Missy. My dream is true now. My son, Musa Al-Hindi, is graduating today from Victoria University of Melbourne. It's really a dream. Thanks, God, and thanks, everybody. Congratulations to Marla Espina and the graduate class of 2020. You guys did it. I'm really proud of you. Hello. Congratulations to you, amazing good job. Today you have made us feel to be the proudest parents in the world. Congratulations on your achievement. <laughs> go, mummy, go! go mommy. Well done, mummy! I'd like to thank my family for their continued support and encouragement throughout my studies. I'd also like to thank my lecturers and friends at VU for helping me get to where I am today. Hey, Nisha.